Today we've got Gustavo Lopez, our market access manager, to talk about how Septentrio fosters the open source community around the Mosaic receiver. Why is Septentrio working on open source projects? For us, it's actually very important to make our customers successful. This is really our main goal. And when we are talking about successful, we're also talking about community, creating a community around our technology, especially around the Genesis module technology, where there is a lot of electronics out there. Lots of technologies. I mean, you can imagine communication technologies, microcontroller technologies, and a lot of big ecosystems out there. So what we are trying to create is reference designs, which can easily be adopted by customers, adapted for their own use cases, for their own applications, but reducing basically the time to the market. What are the latest open source projects from Septentrio? The Mosaic Bus is making the micro bus standard accessible to the Mosaic. The, basically, the standard allows certain pins connectivity uh, to different systems, especially evaluation systems. And there are many systems using this standard for either evaluation or for some type of integration. So uh, Microbus is, the, I would say, one of the world fastest growing add-on standards that you will find in the market. And therefore, we wanted to have uh, some compatibility also with the Mosaic. Mosaic Alto, on the other hand, what we have there is a carrier board where you can just insert one of these Arduino Pro, normally called Portenta boards, uh, expanding basically possibilities for the customers to do their own uh, software integration or applications on top of that Arduino system using all the connectivity that you have from the Mosaic, Ethernet, serial ports, etc. behind it. Where can anyone buy or produce these products? Anybody that uh, just goes to the GitHub pages where they can find information about these projects, they could just produce it themselves using a contract manufacturer. Uh, again, we are trying to make it easy for people to not only produce these ones by themselves, but also to even adapt the design for their own products behind it. What kind of technologies or ecosystems do you enable with these projects? Different ones, all the way from uh, microcontrollers, computers, as, uh, such as, uh, as I mentioned, Arduino, uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, call it NVIDIA, call it other type of microcontrollers, which are well known in the market, all the way to communication devices, as an example, uh, ESP Expressive, ESP32 is a very well common system, just to give you an example, this is another board that integrates the Mosaic uh, with the ESP32, and it brings all the value of communications from the Mosaic in terms of Ethernet connectivity. Uh, and it gives you Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections directly to the Mosaic itself. So it makes this reference design quite ready for any type of wireless communication or wireless device uh, out there in the market. But yeah, there are different types of ecosystems. We keep adding projects, uh, definitely, thanks to the community. This is also growing. Many people are creating new uh, projects and therefore bringing new technologies and ecosystems to our Mosaic uh, module. Where can people access these projects? So the whole documentation and the project is actually in GitHub, which is basically the best place to find open source uh, projects around. So we have there the full reference design of these projects, the full layout uh, of the hardware itself. What we have created is a community page in Septentrio. So welcome to visit the, the community page where we are listing all the different type of, uh, not only partners, uh, but also all the open source project technologies that we have around hardware and around software. Thank you, Gustavo. For more information on all these designs and on the open source community around Septentrio, follow the link to our website or to our GitHub page. Thank you for watching.